Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Y Shiny Lock. Today, we will be finishing off what we started. And, um, yeah, I should probably heal my Pokemon up again. I probably should have done that off camera, but whatever. Once you know that my Pokemon are getting care. On and off camera. <laughs> Alright. So, actually, now that I think Ampharos has been leveled up pretty well, we should probably give the item to just swap like Volpez or Twix, I don't know, I don't like Volpez in the front lines right now because that would be a pretty big loss to the team. I don't think I fought her, I think I would have just dodged her. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay. Did I- oh my god, I really just did that the same thing twice then, huh? Yep. I was like, oh, I already went- <sighs> it's straight down that I've got to do. Okay, my apologies, I wasn't paying attention. Here we go. Now we finally reached this teleportation panel, which I think heals us. No, it just gives us his item. A hyper potion. That's crazy. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Guessing game. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. We'll put Twix in front, so yeah. I'm gonna guess he's gonna have a swallow. He had a goal bat. You know what? I see how it is. The one time leading with Amphros would have been the most ideal choice just happens to be the one time I move him out or her out it's fine we can still kill this thing it's a flying type against a ground type so I have the advantage I don't oh your special defense fell harshly or is it your normal defense I don't know crunch is a physical so why would it lower special be random whatever it's he's gone he's finished hey good job carnage I mean you tried so don't worry about it <laughs> all right there should should be almost at the end of it oh come on really I forgot how long this was it's mostly just annoying, like, small battles. I think the, the point of this is to level you up for the upcoming battles. I don't like this. I don't like this. Do I swap out, though? It's definitely gonna go for a fighting move. But what if it goes for a dark move and completely calls out my swap? But it's definitely gonna have a fighting move. It can have like brick breaking, destroy me. I don't think that's gonna call me out on this. If he uses Dark Pulse, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> or something like Sucker Punch. Well, even if he used Sucker Punch, it wouldn't do anything. Sucker Punch is what I'm afraid of mostly. Okay, that's probably even more scary. We have spitting killed. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, a nice leveling up <laughs> the part. Alright, we definitely want to swap out. Let's go into let's go into Carnage. Why not? Give Carnage another shot at destroying these weaklings. Taunt. Thank you for that. Didn't really do anything for you. I hope there isn't, like, too many more grunts, just because it's like, again, I feel like they're just like the mini-bosses that get you ready for the actual bosses, and it's just kind of like, they're all pretty much the exact same Pokemon, so it's not, like, any different. Oh, okay, never mind. This isn't another floor, this just takes me to the door. Okay. Never mind, we're good. I thought this was an entirely new floor. Actually, might be an item up here. 
No, it was not. Okay, yep, you should be the one with the, the key. Oh, oh, oh. You're that kid from the Frost Cavern. On your lonesome this time? Yep. Oh, that's cold. Colder than the cavern. Your Pokemon don't even count for anything. Aw, oh, now I feel bad. We gather data about the trainers in the region through the Holocaster. So we mo we know all about you guys. And we know how the Mega Ring is used to waken up Pokemon's power, right? Just like the ultimate weapon can max out a Pokemon's power. Hee <laughs> hee. Looks like you and me are practically the same thing. No, I'm... I'm very different from you. You have blue hair, and I do even have real eyes. I definitely have eyes, and... Oh, come on. That's just not fair. <sighs> it's it's good out speed me. Go for Fire Fang, so... Please don't have, like, Thunder Fang. I don't think it would go for Thunder Fang. Even if it knew I was going to swap out, there's that chance that I wouldn't. And it would do nothing. Flamethrower. I'm really afraid it's going to, like, like, Lightning, uh, Thunder Fang, and I'm going to die. Well, it died, so we're good. Oh, it didn't? Okay, we're good, though. Alright, good job, Lefrec. He almost died again. <laughs> There's a reason I don't... I'm not 100% sure about having Lefrec on the team. Weavile. Alright, now we're gonna want to use... Oh! Carnage. We're not gonna want to go into, uh... Conning, not Cotton Candy. Cotton Candy would be ideal again if we had a good fighting move on it, but... It's just that because it's a dark type, I don't want to have Vulpas out there and have a go for Nightshade, because that is devastating from Weavile. I'm going to go for Bug Bite. Or Night Slash, not Shade. Hey, you almost got an Oko on it. It's fine. Ice Shard, not going to do anything. Nice. Team player defeated? Oh wait, blah, not team player defeated, blah. Oh, you're so strong, you and your Pokemon are certainly not ordinary. Thank you. <laughs> ding, 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 yep, you did it. To the victor goes the swales here, an elevator key for you. I like how they just give this to me, like, are you allowed, do you think I'm gonna do, like, kill you? The power of the legendary Pokemon, the power of the blah 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 lies around it. I probably should be skipping this, this is important dialogue. It's a mysterious ability that even scientists like us haven't been able to de decode. What do you think will happen to the world if we fuel that ultimate weapon with something like that? Explosions and everyone dying. That's why I'm here to save the world. Excuse me, apparently I don't know how to navigate my way out of here. Can't I just... Yeah, I was gonna say, can't I just exit, like, through there or something? I'm gonna heal up, restore all the PP. Because, you can guess who's at the top of the elevator. I'm gonna know why I want to heal. I went the wrong way. It's hard to navigate, Lumios. Okay, I don't know why we got a close-up of her, but we're getting a close-up of her healing the Pokemon. Okay, I don't know what I just got stuck on, but that was so weird. I don't, I don't know what the camera just did there. But yeah, back to Lysander Labs. I use the elevator key. Basement 2. Ooh, 
Listen, one who will face Lysander. Oh god, I forgot. Okay. A terribly long time ago. There's a lot of dialogue here. There was a man in a Pokemon who loved that there was a man in a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. A war began. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in the war. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back, no matter what it took. The man built a machine to give it life. brought his beloved Pokemon back. The man had suffered too much, his rage still had not subsided. He could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. The man became the, a bringer of destruction that ended the war. Pokemon that was given life must have known. <coughs> that the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. The resurrected Pokemon left the man. Get the key back. It should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you want to know unending pain like I have? That is AZ. He has the same name as a king that lived 3,000 years ago. And for some unknown reason, he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time. Follow me to my chambers. I think just stopped him. You know. This is AZ. Get to the key back. Alright. Okay. Cool. No new dialogue. So where is your chambers? Did you make me come up all... The entire point of this was just to... Whatever. Oh, there's another floor. Okay. gonna say you gotta be kidding me yep, nothing there evil villain lair so the pokeballs were received and the Pokemon were gathering are they where they need to be add it all up and it means all preparations are complete the only thing left to do is put the plan in motion I'm counting on you One, pu one push of a button and we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. 
I believe being a chosen one means you have the potential to change the future. Whether you activate the open weapon or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you actually have the potential or not. Oh ho ho. You're the one I've heard so much about. I've been waiting for you. I need to complete a little research on you. Come, let us begin. You might be wondering who this is, but this is like the head admin. I don't know how to say his name. It starts with an X, alright? But yeah. He's not messing around. He's got a crow bat. But like the person with the gold bat, I still have the general advantage. Because it's poison and flying. Meaning I can just pretty much clean it up, no trouble. Oh, thankfully this defense fell this turn. Couldn't have done it any other turn. And down goes Crobat. Nice. Nice. Signal beam. That's a bug move. Um. Yeah, I'd say it's it's worth it. I'd get rid of power up punch. It's just. Signal V might not be permanent, but it's actually a pretty useful move if I encounter anything that's like dark. Because it, you know. Yeah, Malamar. I mean, that's dark. It's dark psychic, though, so it actually would be four times effective. Cotton Candy just learned the move that's gonna help me destroy this thing. And then I literally just superpower. Oh, you got contrary. Yeah, wow. That's just it then, huh? I just learned the like the most OP move for that exact situation. Ho ho ho. You're wonderful. Your Pokemon are amazing. Wonderfully amazing. You have tremendous skill and bravery. When you add that up, it means I will tell you something very interesting. It happened 3,000 years ago. The ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. If we use that incredible power, we can finally free Kalos of the foolish human that plague it. Behind me, you'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them, and this is the button activating the ultimate weapon. Push one. Push one now. Okay, I'll push the red button. Push the red button. You pushed it. Oh ho ho, you pushed the little red button. Too bad for you. Pushing that has enabled us to use the ultimate weapon. Don't feel down, though. I would have activated even if you had guessed correctly. Come on, look at the monitor. It's an earthquake. Did you see? The ultimate weapon is reborn! The poisonous flower has bloomed and shall perish except for Team Flare. Look at Geo Siege. It has bloomed into Geo Siege Town.
I know it's bloomed in GSC each time. The boss's dream of creating a beautiful world will come true. And it's all up. And it equals a, victor a victory for our science. Oh no, we gotta go there and stop it. Before it kills everybody. Or else the world will end.